Hi and welcome back to Hardware Unboxed. I'm your host Matt and today we're going to be taking a look at Samsung's new 950 Pro 512GB PCIe SSD. Consumers were left salivating earlier this year when Samsung's OEM only SM951 NVMe was able to boast speeds in excess of 2150 megabytes per second read and 1500 megabytes per second write. It was possible to get this amazing piece of technology from certain distributors, however the 512 gigabyte model would run you over $400. Ever since, we've been waiting for a more affordable mainstream model, and now it's here. Introducing Samsung's 950 Pro series. Available in either 256GB or 512GB capacities, the 950 series is made exclusively in the M2 2280 form factor and boasts speeds of up to 2.5GB per second sequential read and 1.5GB per second write, indeed making it faster than the SM951 NVMe, as well as being more affordable $350 for the 512GB model. This more affordable price tag, however, still renders the 950 Pro models at the higher end of the market, as it should be. The 512GB model works out to be $0.68 cents per gigabyte, and the 256GB model works out to be $0.74 cents per gigabyte. The 950 Pro features the same UBX 3-core controller found in the SM951, and therefore possesses native PCIe and NVMe support. The controller has also been paired with Samsung's 3D VNAND, an upgraded version of that which was featured on the 850 Pro series. Now, let's take a look at the claim speeds. The 512GB model is faster, boasting a sequential read speed of 2.5GB per second and a write speed of 1.5GB per second. The 256GB model is slower, although I hesitate to even mention the word slower around the 950 Pro series, as it still claims a read speed of 2.2GB per second and a write speed of 900MB per second. Samsung is backing the 950 Pro series with a 5 year limited warranty, with the limitation being how much data can be written. The 256GB model is covered for 200TB written, while the larger 512GB model is covered for 400TB written. As an added layer of protection, the 950 Pro series features dynamic thermal throttling protection technology, which monitors the drive's temperature and is able to automatically cool it down when it reaches a certain threshold, as well as smart technology, self-monitoring, analysis and reporting technology, which tracks the health status of the SSD to anticipate failures and warn users. Looking at the sequential performance, we see that the 950 Pro is able to hit new heights, delivering around 200 megabytes per second more performance in the read and write test when compared to the Intel SSD 750 series and anywhere from three to five times the performance of the 850 Pro. The 950 Pro proved very fast once again in the 4K test, though it's worth pointing out that while it was slightly faster than the Intel 750 series when measuring read performance, it was a good bit slower in the write test. This time using AS SSD benchmark, we find that the 950 Pro is slower than the Intel SSD 750 series when comparing sequential read performance, despite being faster when comparing the write performance. Here the 950 Pro is able to slightly better the performance of the SM951 NVMe, making it much faster than the Intel SSD 750 series. That said, it was around 30 megabytes per second slower than the Intel SSD 750 series when comparing 4K write performance. The 950 Pro blitz the ISO copy benchmark with a staggering throughput of 1.7 gigabytes per second, making it 300 megabytes per second faster than the Intel SSD 750 series. The 950 Pro was again very fast, delivering 921 megabytes per second in the program copy test, making it much faster than not just the SM51 NVMe, but also the 750 series. The last AS SSD benchmark copy test focuses on game data performance, and here the 950 Pro again dominates with a throughput of 1.5 gigabytes per second compared to the 750 series 1.1 gigabytes per second. It's almost humorous how slow these PCI Express SSDs make the 850 Pro look. The 950 Pro is able to slightly improve on the SM951's result with 131 megabytes per second, making it quite a bit faster than the 750 series and 850 Pro. This time, the 950 Pro is able to improve on the SM951's result quite a bit, 
though in doing so it's just a few megabytes per second faster than the 750 series. Here the 950 Pro dominated the video editing test with 756 megabytes per second, making it much faster than the SM951 and more than twice as fast as the 750 series. The 950 Pro is Samsung's new flagship and given the performance we've seen it's very easy to see why. That said, while the 950 Pro will take care of the high-end power users, it isn't going to be a replacement for the 850 Pro. The current pricing certainly reflects this, as consumers can expect to pay around 50% more when compared to the 850 Pro series, which is still one of the top performing consumer SSDs. This 512GB model that we tested might be pricey at $350, but it's a bargain when compared to the Intel SSD 750 series 400GB model, which until recently cost almost $1 per gigabyte. With the arrival of the 950 Pro series, Intel were forced to reevaluate their pricing structure for the 750 series and as such the 400 gigabyte model has been heavily discounted to just $300. Despite the large price cut we still much prefer the 950 Pro series as it's not only faster but also better value. Even at $300 the SSD 750 400 gigabyte still comes at a cost of 75 cents per gigabyte whereas the 950 Pro 512 gigabyte model costs almost 10% less at 68 cents per gigabyte making it the better value option. That said, the Intel SSD 750 series does have the advantage of greater compatibility as it is available in either a 2.5 inch model using the SFF8639 connector or as a half height PCIe expansion card making it compatible with any system offering a PCI Express x4 slot or larger. The Intel SSDs also have the advantage of better cooling which avoids any nasty throttling under heavy load. They can also offer larger capacities as they aren't constrained by the M2 size limitations. That said, the 950 Pro only features NAND flash on the top side of the PCB and this means a 1TB model should be possible, although thermal throttling could become a real issue with such a design. Still, despite all that, we much prefer the 950 Pro and its neat little M2 package. As an enthusiast, it's hard not to get excited about an SSD that can sustain 1.7GB per second in a copy test. The 950 Pro series might be a little pricey, but enthusiasts will no doubt be more than willing to cough up the dough and they'll be rewarded for doing so. Thanks for watching another Hardware Unbox review. If you've got any questions at all, please let us know at hardwareunbox.com on our forum or in the comments. Don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you next time.